All right, we're back in uh, Louisiana. Um, I wanted to come check out this cemetery. Uh, it was hit really hard. It's been hit really hard by several hurricanes throughout the years. Uh, I believe it uh, was formed in 1865. So we're gonna check out some of the the graves here and everything. So you can see, you can see where they're all turned and twisted and everything from the the winds and the flooding during the hurricanes. Uh, we found several exposed um, human remains just walking through here. Uh, it's, it's definitely very sad. This is uh, in Louisiana, so it's a it's a poor community and. A lot of times these older cemeteries don't get taken care of because all their loved ones have passed and there's nobody left behind to take care of them and uh, I've been to a few of these cemeteries in Louisiana where I found a, a human skull just laying on the ground and body parts and or not body parts but uh bones and and uh i didn't know what to do so last time i was at a cemetery i uh i called like the the mayor's office i started calling the i called the parish office uh they told me to call the coroner's office so i i then called the coroner's office and they told me that there was a uh, Louisiana Cemetery Board in which you would have which I would have to contact them so I then contacted them um, they told me I then had to file a complaint online and send pictures and everything so I did that and I told them to please keep me updated and let me know what happened with the human remains that I found and I didn't hear anything back. Then a few weeks later, you see how they're all turned sideways and everything. A few, uh, a few weeks later, um, somebody else that I know went out there and he told me that the the skull was was still there so to to my knowledge um, they never did go out there and really do anything I'm not they might have I don't know for 100% fact but um, they might just move like extremely slow but uh same thing out here if I see any you know we've already seen some uh, a couple femur bones and stuff like that and I'm just warning you now if you see them in the video to please just go ahead and cut the video off now if it if it offends you or or, or whatever because I'm just showing you people this for just awareness so I'm just warning you up front that there is um, gonna be human remains in this video bones and um i'll take pictures and file another complaint and everything through the through the um cemetery commission board but this it, go, it goes across the street too this is the cemetery is massive i believe they said it's made up of like 13 acres total as you can see um it's a very, you know, Louisiana, this the community, like I said, they probably have no loved ones here to no longer take care of this stuff, to take care of the graves and everything. So I, I hate to see human remains just laying on the ground or exposed to 
but um I after like doing all these cemeteries and stuff I am definitely getting cremated and I would hate for any of my family members to be stuck like this here I'll show you this one that we passed we passed just walking down the road here this just to show you the force of the um when the hurricanes come and they flood these tombs will act like little air pockets well they'll act like air pockets and the coffin that's inside of it will push it out and this is right by the road and everything there's a car coming stopping and everything looking but uh this is this is right right by the main road here you see this open casket or open um, what are they called vaults I'm not saying bolts I'm saying vaults so let me show you some of the other parts of the cemetery all right this is another older part of the cemetery here it's uh, pretty overgrown and everything you can see some of the lids they're popped open from the the flooding um, like I said this area got just devastated from the hurricanes but I'll walk through here and if there are any like legible names or anything that I can see like here's a World War II veteran here uh, August 10th 1930 to September 1984 but yeah it's it's pretty overgrown but but there's probably no one left to take care of it either That's just a lid right there, what's left of it. See how it's caved in and everything. If you look back there, there's a there's an actual femur bone back there. Just laying there. It's terrible. Here's another one down here. Just laying on the, the ground there. Now I've had people say comment before uh, if you want something done about it, why don't you just go grab a weed eater and do it yourself pretty much and hey I'm all about that. If if somebody wants to meet me back here, uh, this I'm in um, Lake Charles. Louisiana if you want to meet me out here I'll drive all the way back from Florida and I'll bring a weed eater and some other stuff and get somebody out here to to help me I'll be more than glad to come out here back out here so Annie Mae Johnson 1892 to June 21st, 1926. Yeah, this one's busted open too. It's filled with water. If you look in there, you can see another femur bone in there. It's pretty sad it's just this is human bone too I think that's like a hip or something I'm not really sure but just exposed here's the main road right here uh, constant traffic going by and everything here's what's left of somebody's rib cage somebody put a whole bunch of bottles in there sad looks like somebody stole the skull that's terrible just here. It's one of the little headstones just 
flipped over here in the woods. Looks like uh, they're smaller ones, so they're probably children. Here's a couple more of the tombs in here. Now it's hard to see with all the weeds and everything else growing up around it. All right, this one, you can see the skull and the bones and everything right there. See the skull in the back left-hand corner. That's what's left of the coffin. Don't know how well you can see that, but that's a skull flipped upside down, it looks like, to me. But I'm on the, I'm on the back side now. And you can see, like, it was just destroyed. It's all overgrown. And nothing left. Here's another one right here. There's a, a femur bones. There's all kinds of bones in there. That's the man. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to bring awareness to this situation because honestly, if a group of people, we could set a date maybe and come out here, you know, some lawnmowers and weed eaters or whatever, and maybe tarp off these or do something about I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I'm definitely going to call. There's another one here. There's, there's another bone down there. God, it's terrible. Alright, this one over here is the top on it is actually broken and caved into the the grave itself and is just flooded this one the brick is missing on there and you can see somebody's teeth there I don't know if you can see the dentures This is a business back here. Nothing left of this one. all grown in. I'm sure the, the remains are in there though because they're in just about every other one that's broke out here. Now there's a good possibility too that there could be which there probably is um, grave robbers that come out here because there are some sick people in the world that go after human bones for some reason I don't understand the fatuation with it but I'll look over here real fast all right this one here the top has been opened and it's 1993 I know it's upside down but 1993 is when they passed away and they were specialist in the United States Army Pretty messed up. I don't know how well you can see in there, but somebody's throwing all their trash in there. Beer bottles, trash, everything. Damn, the whole damn side of this one's knocked out. Wow. I don't know, I just couldn't... Oh, and there are bones right there. That's a femur bone right there. Wow. Oh, that is crazy. Just right next to the road.
This one's collapsed. See this side of it. Now this to me looks more like grave robbers where the blocks are knocked out and they're inside because there's nothing in this one. So, probably some sicko come out here stealing bones. All right, I'm walking down the main sidewalk now. Uh, this road is definitely a busy road just to show you how many of these are completely destroyed um, if anybody knows in the comments if FEMA offers money after hurricanes for uh, cemeteries please uh, let me know in the comments because to be honest with you I have no idea but I would think you know the I would think that they would, but I have no idea if they do or not. Well, this is the old Orange Grove Cemetery here in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So if there's anybody out there watching this that would like to set up a date, come out here, I'll be more than happy to come back, drive all the way back here. Well, thank you for watching. Take care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.